Hey guys, I'm Jessie and today we are going to talk about my August TBR. I am pretty excited about this one because I have plans. Normally I am pretty much a mood reader. I still make TBRs every month, but they're mainly like my pile of possibility because that's what I like to do because I am, like I said, a mood reader. I will just be like, oh, not in the mood to read this one, but I want to read this one. But if I give myself like limited choices, like these are what I have to pick from this month, then I'm usually pretty good. So this month I'm kind of uh, theming it because I want to read a bunch of sequels. I have a lot of sequels that like I just haven't gotten to and books that I loved book one. So we are going to try to focus on getting to some sequels and finishing off some series. I will be trying to incorporate at least two to three of my quarter three like exploding TBR into this month. But I don't know exactly which books. If you want to see which books are like on that experimental TBR, you can go check out that video. But none of those are sequels. So those are just ones that are going to be kind of picked up randomly over the course of the month. And now we're going to get into the actual like sequels TBR books that I'm going to be trying to read this month. So we're going to start off with one that's uh, going to be pretty quick and easy, and that is a volume two of the Demon Slayer manga. I have watched all of the anime so far that's, that's available, and I'm waiting until next year, apparently, when our next season comes out. So I am getting my fix by reading the manga, and so I'm going to read volume two of the manga. These don't take very long to read, so it's... A nice little like when I need to read something quick and I want to just like enjoy it I'll pick up a manga I've been really into them lately I think I want to do a whole video about anime and manga and just kind of getting into them because like it is a newer thing for me like I used to watch anime when I was younger and then I didn't for like a super 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 long time and then like my husband and I started watching it together last year like pretty recently and like just both kind of got back into it but now I'm also into reading like the manga that goes along with the anime that I'm reading so yay next I'm going to try to read Cress which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles the second book Scarlet I believe was on one of my exploding TBRs I want to say it was on quarter ones and I read it and I liked it I read it super fast like flew through I really want to complete this series I am really enjoying it but it does feel very young YA so kind of my plan is to finish it because I want to know what happens I want to read the series I like it but once I finish it I am going to give the completed series to one of my nieces that I think will enjoy it more because she is like 13. So I'm gonna give it to, to that younger niece the whole series once I finish reading it. But I still wanna finish reading it, so. All right, next we have one that I am so excited for. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads of this year, and I got it early. I got an ARC, which I haven't started yet, but then like right after my ARC arrived, like my E-ARC got here, uh, I got a completed copy. And that is Fury Song by Rosaria Munda. This is the third and final book in the Aurelian cycle. The first book is Fireborn and it is Chef's Kiss. Amazing. I have a full review if you want to check it out. Um, I am so hyped to see what happens in the rest of this series. Like I am probably starting this tonight, like after my kids go to bed because I just can't wait. I need, this is gonna be my first read of the month of August because I just need to know everything that is going on that has happened. Like I, I'm terrified and I'm nervous and I'm excited because I know that she's gonna do such a good job and I just, I want to finish this series. So I'm excited. The next sequel that I want to try to get to is The Bone Shard Ember by uh, Andrea Stewart. This is the sequel to The Bone Shard Daughter. Again, I loved <laughs> book one and I actually read book one as an arc and then I had the arc of book two, but I never got to it. 
So then I found this hard copy, this final copy in like a used bookstore, picked it up. So now I still have my, my e-arc and I have this copy. So I really need to read it. And I loved book one. I just really haven't, I've been struggling with getting to everything that I want to read. Cause it's like, I'm trying to do the exploding TBR and get everything off of my shelves that I don't want. But like, I'm not really including sequels in that exploding TBR because if, especially if I like know that I like the first book, I'm probably going to want to finish the series. So a lot of that exploding TBR experiment is like first books and standalones, which is great. And it's like been clearing out my shelves but now I have a ton of series that I'm just like stuck in the middle of. So I need to find that balance and try to read more series. And we're gonna try to finish this one. I'm also gonna try to get to Seasonal Fears by Shonda McGuire. This is the sequel to Middle Game. I know it's more of a standalone companion sequel, like, but I still wanna get to it because I loved loved middle game so much so I really am excited to see what else Shauna McGuire does in the world. Then I also have two uh, NetGalley arcs that I want to get to that are both sequels. One is The Oleander Sword by Tasha Suri. This is a sequel to The Jasmine Throne which I read last year and loved so much. It was a really great like sapphic Indian inspired fantasy. Um, it's pretty slow is how I would describe it. It is not like a fast paced YA fun fantasy romp. It is a slower story, but I really, really enjoyed all of the buildup and like the really unique magic system within the Jasmine Throne. So I'm really excited to see what happens in book two and I have the arc, so I'm gonna try to read it. Then the final arc I'm gonna try to get to is A Venom Dark and Sweet, which is the sequel to A Magic Steeped in Poison, which I just read recently. Absolutely loved it. Then I got approved for the Net Galley arc for book two. So I'm like, all right, guess we're gonna read book two. So the first book was a lot of fun. It was one of those like faster paced YA fantasy books with some romance and like the tea is magic and it was really good. There's like a lost heir and there's political strife and there's romance and betrayal and family and like all the goodness and I really enjoyed it so I'm excited to see book two. All right well that is everything that I have on my August pile of possibility sequel TBR maybe gonna kind of try to read. Like I said I will be adding um a couple books probably here and there from my quarter three exploding TBR because I really really want to get some of these books read or DNF'd off my shelves because we are doing home renovation projects. So this rest of this year is going to be kind of the year of home renovations. We've been in this house for six years now, seven years, something like that. Like we bought it, we own the house. Um, and we've never really done much to it, but now we are able to, like we have the time and the finances and things like that. So we are going to be slowly room by room doing some home renovation projects. And my first project is actually a room addition. So we have a very strange like second living room. I don't know if this is just like a Florida thing or if it was like a houses built in the 90s thing. I don't know. But like a second living room pretty much. Like I guess it at one point was probably like a formal living room. But like I don't need grandma scotch guard couch. Like not my thing. And it's kind of a waste of space. Well, we only have three bedrooms in our house. So the master, my kids room, and then this office. And I have to have an office because of work, because I work from home. Like I have a whole setup, like I have to have an office. So the kids right now are sharing a room, but they're starting to get to the age where like, mm, they probably want their own room, which is my husband shared a room with his sisters his whole life. So not a big deal, but I know they want their own rooms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that spare living room into my office. So it'll be my office slash filming room. It'll be slightly smaller than this room, but each kid will um, have their own room. That will be my office. And then I'll obviously have all my books in there, but since it will be slightly smaller, I need to uh, probably get rid of some of the books. So which is why part of this exploding TBR project is a uh, high, priority to start kind of unhauling. I'm also debating doing built-in shelves and like getting rid of 
I guess some of these like white shelves, except for this one. I really like this one. Like the others are like the cheap Walmart ones. And like, this is like an actual nice shelf. Um, they're white. I might use them for like the kids rooms or like repurpose them, not like get rid of them, but like repurpose them. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do some built-ins. That was so off topic though, but yeah, that's kind of what my plan is. So just wanted to let y'all in on that. I'm sure I'll do vlog footage and stuff like that. I want to get back into doing vlogs. It's been a long time. I know everyone used to really like my vlogs, but like I thought they were boring. So I might bring them back. So we'll see. But thank you guys for hanging out with me and talking about my August TBR. Let me know what you think of any of these books and what you think I should prioritize first other than Fury Song because that one is a given. It will be prioritized first. If you are reading any of these this month, let me know and we will chat. We will turn it into an impromptu buddy read. All right. Well, my name's Jessie. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.